Hi, Cancer. Hi, Cancer. Welcome. Um, this session, during this time, we're starting off um, lighting a authentically Alice um, chunk meditation candle, which is basically a layered candle of the different meditation flavors. So it's a, you get seven different smells. How can you go wrong? It's a chakra candle. It's a chakra candle, too, because seven colors are for the chakras. <laughs> if you haven't figured that out yet, well, um, it says it on the website. So if you want to get them, go down to the description and click on the buyauthenticallyalice.com link. And you'll be able to see all kinds of neat stuff. Like, yeah, I make candles, but Donna over here, she makes all kinds of soaps and bath bombs and yummy stuff and I make bath salts and I also make bath bombs and but lotions. I really don't want to <laughs> and lotions, lotions and lip balms yes we make good stuff essential and oils pretty much all of it your kid could pronounce so but it's not FDA approved so it probably won't kill ya <laughs> anyway, there's some heavy energy going on, so we're lighting a candle and giving extra love to each one of these signs and cancers. Since I'm a cancer and she's a cancer, yeah, we know you think everybody's crazy because they, they literally are right now. Us too. Because, um, well, I'm seeing a pattern. Because it seems like the people that have all the heart, they have a lot of heart and passion, but no brain. And the ones that have all the brains have no have have passions no but no heart. And then the ones who have like the grounded earth sign, they're like confused about everything going on because they're getting it from both sides. And and it's like I'm, the energy's a mess. We all need it. And me and Don dragged our heels on this because we're both cancers and we are the worst at taking good advice. So here we go. We love you. We're right here with you. So let's give Cancer some love. Oh, shit. Maybe. Okay, now these are blessed. Oh, there we go. Cancer. Yeah. Do it again. Cancer over here is, is grabbing that <laughs> shit. Now these are blessed to read your essence for healing. So, if you blow it out and relight it, um, the essence of your breath uh, goes to spirit, and it actually uh, helps them give you exactly what you need. So, you want to go first? I'm nope. going to you go first. Nope. Go ahead. God damn it. Go ahead. See, she's being difficult today. Because I can. Yeah, so can I. <laughs> <laughs> but it's my turn. Okay. Oh, we got feline. Somebody's ready to pounce. Nice. Um, when I see the feline in this, this uh, I mean, cats are both here and there. They are. They're, they're very, they're connected. very yeah, very but they're connected. also very independent because they are connected. I mean, they're not very needy. And when they need something, they get it. They're cats very resourceful. Are also, they're also healers. They are. Um, cats are pretty magical creatures. And this feline energy is is also very astute they pay attention to what's going on around them yes even though they're here and there trust me when they're here they're here um they're constantly uh paying attention of when the best time is to pounce mm -hmm. so somebody's sitting back and making some calculations here and i'm not feeling like it's a bad thing but um, the other side of cancer, when those cups get turned upside down, it can be a very bad thing in that calculating manner. Mm -hmm. So, um, we try not to tend to go to that edge. Um, and it's best to keep a cancer, uh, you know, not to push them to where they have to feel like they become calculating because they, they're really good at it. Nobody likes to be put in a position where they want to be, or where they have to feel like they're defending themselves. Well, guess what just came up? Somebody's defending themselves. Oh. Shit. Well. Can I go first? Yeah. I told you. No, because I'm going to end on a good note. 
Go well, ahead. we don't know how this is going <laughs> to end. I mean, I think I've got my card to play down again. So we have to look at this a different way. Okay. I was going to oh, say. Oh, that's good. So, this is good. This I is good. Well, as soon as you turned that three of cups right side up, it changed the whole well, dynamic of the, the... Somebody's being... Somebody's feeling like they have to be defensive about their passions. Yeah. Very defensive about their passions. Yeah. It, that's all good. But they're also standing up for themselves. Um... Out of this, out of these, one, two, three, four, five, six cards, one, two, three, mm -hmm. three of them are major arcanas, and that's the last three. So, here's what I'd like to say. All right, the beginning of all this is all kinds of fucked up, because somebody is defending, um, well, they're kind of defending their freedoms, and their passions. Um, they feel like they have to. Now that brings out, like I said, the calculating cancers that we don't want to see. Um, so I see uh, some of you cancers seeing this and totally moving away from that energy um, of having to be defensive because you don't deserve it. I mean, the truth of you doesn't deserve it. You're ooey gooey, soft and chewy and yummy and nummy and what is that song? You're my little sweetie pie buttercup. Scrumptious, Pumpy, yummy, 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 yummy. Yummy. yeah. That one. Yeah, that's the that that's mm. cancer. I mean, that's the truth. That cancer inside is that cup of love, and I think um, we're actually coming to a different view of the value of what's in that cup. We're finally getting a full-on perspective of the truth that's in that cup. And we're embracing that empress energy that we are meant to be. Now, a lot of people see the empress as, what, Pisces? I think. I don't know. Or the Scorpio. I don't know. But, since my life path is three, and... Cancers tend to be more of the creative nurturers. I always see the Empress as a Cancer. I just do. Well, yeah, because she represents fertility and and birth, and uh, really, fertility doesn't, and neither does birth, have to mean an actual child. Yeah, it it's can the be creation. It's creation. creation. Yeah, it's creation. So, and Cancers carry that. I mean, a lot of artists and and writers and and creative people are water sign mm -hmm. so anyway i i don't see that as bad i see that as a little bit of struggle but then understanding your worth and getting the fuck out of there you know getting the fuck out of of that defensive energy or what makes you feel defensive because that's not where your magic comes from oh oh Okay, well, we've gone through some heartache, and we have decided that we're better off a lot of times on our own to make those transformations, because we understand that if we try to build during these tumultuous times, that it's going to result in some pretty heavy energy that what comes around goes around. So a lot of cancers prefer to pull back into their shell to transform, which is this five of swords energy right here. Because they're going through transformations. The people that they're dealing with is going through transformations. Somebody somebody here is starting to understand their value and understand that it isn't in necessarily um, 
misguided passions or parties, you know, being the most popular or Cancers are learning they have nothing to prove. That's the feeling I'm getting here. They're learning that they have nothing to prove because they understand um, the beauty of themselves. And it's taken a long time to get there and a lot of heartache, but they are standing in their own power. Understanding that there is no one out there that they need. None. And the only one that holds that Ten of Pentacle is, uh, the Ten of Pentacle is actually inside of you. You're already the Ten of Pentacles. Alright. The Ten of Pentacle is between you and Spirit. And that Ten of Pentacle is always inside you. You are always, you came as the Ten of Pentacles. Um, we allow this heartache to happen because we slowly let what we call reality chip away at our pinnacles and what we value the truth that's inside us well we're tired of that shit and we're tired of this me myself and I energy you know not seeing our value and we're stepping into it and we're understanding that it's better to be single and stand in your own power during these powerful transformations allow the five to happen now usually in a deck this is the win at all costs uh hell be damned type energy which will bring transformation because this will bring the tower this is the tower energy this is what brings it and understanding that it's needed so you can rebuild Because if you look at that card, you know, there's not that much sunlight yet on those pinnacles. There's just a little bit, you know. And one of the reasons is he's really not paying attention to that because he's thinking about something he did somewhere else at one time. So the sun is not shining on those pinnacles yet. They're not able to grow. When this happens, and you claim your shit, and you understand that, you know, you have to have some sense when it comes to that heart. You have to know when to pounce and when not, and that's part of that feline energy is intuition. So, <laughs> making the choice. Making the choice. That's the lover's energy. Now, that's also a Gemini, the twin. That's just, there's so many things to this card, but um, I think this is understanding and valuing um, the love that is in you. Because if you, like, I say it all the time, if you don't honor that spirit that's in you, you're creating your own karma. Literally, you're creating your own karma. And you end up with regret. Yeah, karma kind of sucks. Especially if you don't see your own power and your own ability to rise above it. I didn't use that. Did I use that one? I didn't use that one. But that's what I got for you today. Rock on, sister. Okay, I will. That's us not yeah. listening to our own good advice. Uh -huh. And you got to be the good cop. Oh, shit. Here mm -hmm. we go. Yeah. All right. I'm going to sneak away because she's probably talking about me. <laughs> All right. So, for the fairies, they want us to make music. Okay. Music actually heals a lot, it does heal the soul. In the enchanted maps, we got sad embrace. And this is about life lessons and letting go of things and cycles ending relationships ending and needing to let those emotions out in a really big cry can you punch a punching bag if you need to yeah 
Yeah, sometimes that... So it doesn't have to be a cry. It could be just another expression of... No, sometimes the punching bag leads to the cry. Okay, so down here, we've got the Page of Wands energy upside down. So this little person is kind of wreaking havoc. We've got um, the Four of Pentacles upside down, which is good. It's, um, it's being generous and sharing, etc. But then we've got the Four of Cups, which is regrets and not paying attention to what's in front of you and losing, you know, losing sight of what your end goal is. And then we've got the King of Pentacles, who is, uh, he's pretty fair and just, balanced. Then we've got the Knight of Cups, and this this is emotional balance, okay? It, it's coming into understanding your emotions a little bit better, okay? We're also releasing these swords. We're coming out of a state of depression. We're taking these, these uh, the blindfold and the shackles off and starting to see things for what they are and that is um that is backed up by the three of wands upside down that's uh shedding things that have been holding you back okay and there we've got the empress again so cancer we're definitely making moves the things that we're going through whatever Whatever brought this card out, this sad embrace, that's probably one of the most important lessons that we're, we're learning. Whether it's a person, whether it, it's with a job, whatever, it, it's, it's causing us to grow and mature and come into this empress energy we've been dealing with a lot of a, a lot of smaller energies in the people and i'm glad to see the knight of cups coming in with more balanced emotions and whatnot and the king of pentacles with a more balanced comprehension of finances and and whatnot we're letting go of some stuff. We're we're changing our views. We're in a time where we're in within ourselves processing information. We like our we like our shell. This is emotions that we're processing. Feeling like we've been robbed. You no know, swords. Kind of feels like maybe dignity's been robbed, or maybe we've been put in a humiliating situation, or got some legs up. Yeah, well, it's That's swords. The victim mentality. It's, yeah, but we're starting to come out of it and and come into our our empress energy, and that just verifies your empress over there. Mm -hmm. But we gotta face the we gotta face the music of us not understanding our energy. Yeah, too. that's them so. choices. We gotta we gotta take that blindfold off so that we can see the truth of things Jeez, instead of brain. instead of um just acting Is completely that the only on our emotions. Have, no, we've yeah, got the five so, of oh, swords or seven, seven of swords. swords. Yeah, freaking swordsy. Yeah, then we got the eight, eight of swords, swords over here. here. Yeah. Yeah, no, we got some swords. So we're starting to balance because cancers tend to be the most emotional sign. We're starting to get a grasp on what our emotions are trying to tell us now. And the value of them. 
Because, I mean, before our emotions were a weakness because they, they cause pain. And they can be. Yeah, so we tend to hide them. Yes. And now we're understanding well, the value it, of, yeah, of if, bringing them. If y'all are anything like me, I hide my emotions until I lash out. And when I lash out, I say things that are hateful and hurtful, et cetera, et cetera. And I, I, in the, that's one of the lessons that I've been learning in the last several years is sometimes I need to take that blindfold off and think about what I'm saying before I actually say it. Because do I really want to blow something up completely and feel like I've been robbed? Because I did this to myself. I did this to myself. I created this over here that I'm now having to deal with. Okay. That's just not knowing your own value. Yeah, right. And, and Or not knowing how to express your value. Mm -hmm. In a way that other people find you valuable as well. There's a there there there's a whole lot of of shifting energies and this all down here is coming from this card. It's coming from whatever this loss is is making the change from being all emotions to starting to process. think about things and process a little bit more so that we're not acting completely out of our emotions we're starting to understand where the emotions are coming from which allows us to put into words what the actual problem is more effectively yes yes so i'm gonna say good job cancer congratulations we're stepping up i'm gonna say we still have some to go though. that empress energy is coming and for some and, of us, it's here. And I mean, everybody, let's not discount the the ones that are at that. See, for some of us, it's here, and it's been here for a while. And that's one of the things that's getting us in trouble. Is we're denying this empress energy. We're denying the value of this within us, and yeah. that's how we're robbing ourselves. Yeah, is we're allowing other people to steal this. Um, beauty from us and it's actually we're allowing ourselves to be hurt because we're not seeing the value um and calling that energy well are we actually allowing people to steal it though or are we well, actually giving it away without realizing it well we're giving it away but we're giving it away to people who are willing to steal it let's put it that way so I feel like that we're learning to be it to more people who don't value us in the first place. Well, yes, because we don't value ourselves, and that's why that's showing up. That's why it's kind of our own energy manifesting itself. So yeah, stepping into our own power is big. Um, Very much so. Now I'm going to say to you that energy is fractal. All right, you can be this empress and still be human. All right. Because this energy will knock you the fuck down. It will. It can. It will. Yes, it can. Um, because of co-creation. Everything affects everything else. So, you know, you can't say it doesn't affect you. That's Empress energy. Everything affects the Empress. She sees things and feels things at a much higher level than most. That's one of the beauties of her. But she's human. She's very human. And when you get swordsy energy over there, you know. Now, this is more of the Queen of Cups that would allow the swordsy energy in more than the Empress energy. So when we allow swordsy in, um, that's us reflecting that uh, we're not. There's, there, there's a kink in our armor in the Empress energy. It doesn't mean that you don't rock it every other way, but there's a kink in that armor somewhere with that Empress energy, and we're allowing Swordsy in. You know what I mean? Kind of. So, yeah, we, uh, we're, we're, we're allowing, hey, look. Ooh, what is that? Seven of Swords. 
<laughs> Ew. Okay. Uh-huh. And when we... when Okay, next time Swordsy comes up against this Empress, you see him in there trying to... 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 yeah, he's trying to sneak in there. Alright, but see, the thing about it is, is, um, good luck getting past her to her treasure this time, because he ain't gonna make it. And that's the valuable lesson of what we've been well, going through right now. If, if, fixing that kink against the swords he do. If he's coming through, well. He's going to meet the king of cuts energy. That's what he's going to do. Hopefully, if he's coming through, he's coming through with a balance. Hopefully, he's manifested more than the knight of cups and more than the, well, here's king, the king of pentacles. Here's the king of cups over here. So okay. what he's going to be meeting is that king of cups energy, which is cold and calculating just as well as the seven of swords and he's not going to be prepared for the empresses to pull out her king of cup shit on him can be because see swords here he needs love that's why he's swords and this being the the empress embracing her masculine love she knows exactly what this character needs Something tells me that Swordsy's going to get things that he doesn't expect. He needs the hermit. Well, yeah, he's going to get a new idea and new messages about what his passions are. Yeah. Yeah. So, to me, uh, he's going to be given the opportunity to choose differently. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so as we're talking he's and she's, guys, please understand the energy is what we're reading. Mm -hmm. It's a masculine or a feminine energy I, could I, be could be a female playing so it's just somebody this. stealing your energy basically stealing right. your magic type thing so right. whether it shows up whether you're stealing it yourself or somebody else is stealing it from you or you're allowing it to happen it all comes back to there's a kink in your armor and that's inside you right so right so, as you're stepping into the Empress energy, just understand that the Empress is balanced and fair and just. Got anything else? She's all that and a, and a bag of chips. But yeah, she'll, she'll step into that king energy in a heartbeat. No problem. And she can change swordsy, actually. She can help Swordsy see a different value than what he sees. Can. I mean, the Seven of Swords energy, if you think about it, look at him. Now, there's a story that could be behind this, too, in the realm of possibilities. Now, do you see that guy? He's, like, smiling, and he's got all those swords, and, um... You know, he doesn't really look like he's running away too awful hard to me in this deck. So, uh, there's another uh, story that goes that he snuck in to seal the swords because he heard there was going to be an attack and he's trying to prevent a war. Could be. Could be trying to prevent it. I think there's lessons to be learned here. There is. Whenever this character shows and, up, there always is. And balance and temperance. Temperance showed up here, here. too. Yep. Check this out. I can't read it. Temperance. Nice. Can't make it up. And then we've got a new journey beginning. We've Yay, we like new journeys. All right, guys. That's all I've got. You got more, Alice? Well, I got this five of cups showing up here. Yeah. And that's, that's again, you know, not understanding, having regrets of not standing in your power because you're starting to see your power. So, we're going to quit those regrets and we are going to stand in our power and we're going to understand that Empress energy and we're going to fix those kinks in our armors because that's what cancers freaking do. We don't listen to other people's advice. We go inward. So, 
I'm not expecting you to hear us because I don't even hear us. <laughs> I'm sitting here going, oh, God, I'm kicking my own ass, <laughs> you know. Right. So it's kind of weird, but it's, it's, I mean, it's true. I can relate. I can relate to all of that, so. Um, yeah. But I see good things coming and us being able to um, bring that amazing abundance of what's actually in that cup because it's what the world needs to yeah, I understand we all just want to be nurturers and be loving and caring and giving and abundant no, we all don't want to be you know there's the movers the shakers the gypsies but they have their own band of, of vibration that, that right. they are and everywhere they go they still are loving and nurturing etc etc they just don't stay in one spot very long no no some of them are swordsy over here some some of them are yeah some of them are I is mean, that the cancers they... that have been hurt well, because no. every cancer that no, I was talking yeah, about no. everybody wants to be loving and nurturing. No, somebody... Because oh, I was talking specifically about cancers. Yeah. Characteristics. Some, there's some cancers, though, that, that um, don't necessarily want to be any of that because they tend All right, to... guys. If, if, if you're a cancer who doesn't want to be nurturing, loving, and caring, please comment because I want to know. And I, I need to meet a cancer who is not... A nurturer yeah they've had they're, they're the ones that had enough and it's like fuck that shit <laughs> seriously and they're like i don't want nothing because every with those cancer because every cancer i know and it, it, it doesn't have to be a, a a partnership relationship like a romantic relationship yeah, but it's, we can get it's cold cancers, and bitchy and bitter because of But it's cups still cancers. Things. It's still cancers' characteristics to be nurturing. nurturing. Absolutely. Right. So but when they get in that fight to, or flight, you know, they turn into a hardcore bitch. And they can. Just, yeah. They can. But what they want is to be able to be their natural selves in their home, safe, content well yeah happy but usually and that nurturing alone <laughs> you know not always not always <laughs> some cancers some cancers have have decided that they don't want anybody around them but most cancers well that's what truly, I mean. because they've dealt with a bunch of shit i get yeah, that yeah. but truly deep down cancers want to be nurturing yeah. They want to be loving. They want it to be caring. It is their nature. It is their nature. But I'm just saying that a lot of people are living against their true natures right now. Mm -hmm. Because everybody so, down so deep So basically in, a cancer who doesn't want to be is living against their true nature? Absolutely. But okay. see, anybody okay. that doesn't really want to be is actually living against all of our true nature. Because true. we're all meant to be social. And um, we're all meant to co-create on this earth together now we co-create whether it's responsible or irresponsible that depends on the, how much we balance these energies and these elements mm -hmm. within ourselves mm -hmm. and understanding the power that each one of them carry mm -hmm. now i say scorpio is one of my favorites and scorpio's energy is amazing but i want to say that each one of the individual signs is a key component absolutely there's no um there's no accident of the number 12 in history, like 12 disciples, 12 months. 12 uh, prophets, 12, yes. T the 12 signs of the zodiacs. Right. I mean, it's a repeating number, and it's one of the numbers that I pay attention to when it comes up, because it mm -hmm. ends up being three, which is, of course, what I associate with a divine truth. Right. So... <clears throat> Pay attention to numbers. Pay attention to the signs. Absolutely. And cheerio, Cancer. We're here if you need us. Absolutely. Um, hang in there and uh, understand the value of what's in your cup and don't give it so freely. Some people, you need to, like, hold back a little bit till you see what they're willing to spew right. in your cup. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. We love you. Be blessed. Blessed be. Namaste.
Have a great night.